We have the biggest chore on this entire Texas 1836 project. So congratulations, my fellow workers. Our vineyard is, uh, is large. And what strikes me is that, you know, there's 30 million people in this state, and it falls to us to tell their story. And not everybody in this state looks or sounds like any one of us. I mean, it is a remarkably diverse place. And so somehow we need to capture the essence of Texas and uh, concisely and make it presentable and useful for future generations, uh, which is no small task. So uh, it, this is a, a, an enormous chore, in my opinion, uh, that we've been faced with. So the only way to eat an elephant, as they say, is one bite at a time. I am very, very pleased with the uh, diverse nature of our, of our particular working group. We've got pretty broad representation from uh, the diversity of the entire state. And so I think that we're going to have a lot of good voices that are talking about this. Everybody on this call understands that there's already people concerned with what our product is going to be before we've even put a single word on paper. And uh, there's a lot of people that are already telling us what our product is before ever we've ever sat down and even had a conversation about it. So uh, there's a, there'll be a lot of eyes on the process. There'll be a lot of eyes on the product as well. And so uh, this, is, this is an important thing we're embarking on. Two products. One is a uh, brochure. Second one is a longer report. We were all, uh, we're all familiar with probably two different projects. Uh, that have come before this. We have the 1619 project that came through the New York Times with all of its associated uh, teaching aids and uh, uh, curriculum. Uh, but then we also have the 1776 project that came out from the Trump administration that in many ways um, was perhaps a, a, a response to uh, the 1619 project or it might have been more of a uh, upon reading, it's more of a credo, you know, this we believe in terms of the American experience. I don't think that we are bound to follow either one of those examples other than those are examples. I think we have the opportunity to do something with this project that tells a full and open and honest story of the Texas experience. Uh, I've pointed this out before, but my gosh, you know, the third most spoken language in Texas is Vietnamese, followed by Mandarin, followed by Tagalog. And so the old sort of Anglo and Hispanic narrative also needs to find room for new Texans that are coming in. And within internal migration, they're coming from Florida, they're coming from California. External migration, they seem to be coming from South and Southeast Asia. And so we are going to have a different Texas uh, by 2050. It's going to be twice as big and it's going to be extraordinarily more, even more diverse than it is now. And so if we're going to produce something that is worthwhile that will serve for the future, uh, those are some things we need to keep in the back of our minds. What do we want to tell our grandkids? And you know, it's, this is not about what do we want to tell our colleague one office over. This is more about what do we want to tell the folks down the street and what do we want the folks down the street to tell their grandkids. One of the things that we're going to need to wrestle with too is the legislation is pretty clear about um, patriotic education, however we define that. And uh, to me, patriotic education doesn't speak to uh, anything beyond building social capital within the state. Um, I think that that's a pretty broad interpretation that uh, should fit just about all of our needs. I think it's important that we talk about the, the political uh, heritage that Texas is. I mean, you've got a Mexican political heritage, you've got, and before that, a Spanish colonial political heritage, but you also have an American political heritage. 
uh, was it Mieri Tehran said, you know, they all got here holding their constitution in their pocket. And uh, some of those guys in the, uh, that founding generation, some of those men and women were uh, revolutionaries and they're exporting the American Revolution, you know, three generations hence. And I think that somehow we need to address that political education component as well. But I th I'm really going to urge us to stay out of the weeds on exactly what that looks like uh, from an operational standpoint. Uh, I don't want to produce anything that uh, is feeding any present day political debates. I want this to be evergreen and, and feed the future. Uh, essentially, I want this to be a forward-looking document. No pressure, guys, but we're about to define Texas.